honestly, that's the easiest part right there. I like that part. <laughs> Just throw it down, down move it in the middle. I'm like, I'm good. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Got it centered in there. It is like mesmerizing. I don't know. Do you guys find it, it mesmerizing? To watch it yeah, like, yeah. It, it like mesmerizes me to watch it. Even when she pulls it up, the, 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 no, I like agree. the whole come thing. Up. It's so neat. Yeah. Maybe because she's quick, too. Like, Probably. I'm like... Yeah, I don't think when I do it, it's mesmerizing. <laughs> it's more stressful. You wait for it to go flying. It's like a horror show. Look <laughs> away. <laughs> what not to do. I threw things at her twice today. I don't know if you noticed that. <laughs> That's okay. One time, uh, one of my pieces flew off the wheel and hit the person next to me, so mm -hmm. that was nice. Another time, I filled up my splash pan with water so much that it was actually making waves, <laughs> and then there was a pond around me. That was also nice. Are you, is that where you're supposed to put the water, actually? Or why did you fill it up? Oh, it was not intentional. I was okay. just throwing like using so much. I was just using oh, so much oh, wow. water okay. that eventually it filled up, which is not what we want. No. <laughs> it happens. Okay. So, I think for this one, I'm gonna make it a little more narrow, and then. Well, so wait. So when you're doing that though, too, you kind of have to have a little bit of what you want to yeah. do, right? Absolutely. Because that depends how you're coming up and like. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just yeah. Ask. Yeah. So like. Like if, a plan, like a game plan mm -hmm. in your head. If you want the bottom of whatever you're making to be very narrow, you know that you have to. You can't open it up too wide. Okay. Because then the foot will be out here, and you'll be like, oh, but I want it here. And by that point, it's too late. Okay. And same thing, like if you only open it to here, but you decide you want a container that thick, it's, you know, you have to plan for that a little bit. Okay. At this point, though, I would say don't worry about planning. Just have fun. Yeah, Just like have fun and get the, yeah. get the practice in. I would really like, once we have a few more classes running, to do different levels so we could have beginners and then advanced one and then maybe advanced two eventually. And so that way, as people are progressing, they can take different classes and learn other things, like you could do teapots or throwing really large or whatever. Teapots are really hard. I was going to ask you, what's the hardest thing, what's the easiest thing? Just curious. Oh, that's, that's up to everyone's, like, discretion. I don't know. For me, I think the hardest thing... I don't know, I, I guess I don't really practice much with throwing large, but throwing large is tricky for me. Okay. A lot of people struggle with plates, and I don't think plates are very tricky for some reason, but everyone is just so different. Clearly I can do bowls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I think easy is probably bowls. Just saying. <laughs> yes. So far in, in, in my experience, I'm very good at the bowl. Yeah, I definitely want to get better at throwing large and practice that more like it's fun like when you go on youtube and you do watch them like it's interesting like when they throw those like massive pots and like their whole arm is in it like it's, yeah that's like crazy time like, yeah I don't, yeah. Know, yeah I don't know either but it is fun to watch it mm -hmm. okay. Slowing my wheel down a little more because now that I'm getting taller, it needs to move slower. If it was going too fast, it's going to start to like out, which you'll feel happening. into making the shape let's let's see how we can make this shape become more of a cylinder because it's not really I mean it kind of is but 
So when I when something is a little too wide and you want it to be more narrow, you can do this thing called collaring, which is really tricky at first, but um, and it's kind of like a slow process. But basically, you want the walls to be wet, and your hands are just going to be open like this. And I'm using this, 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 and this <coughs> as pressure points. So I'm trying. I'm hitting like two up here, and then my thumbs are pretty close together. But I'm starting at the bottom, and then I'm just gonna slowly move up. And you, usually it will start to wobble a little bit. And then you create this weird shape on top. It's kind of, you can't push it too far because it'll then it'll like fold and fall in on itself. So it has to be a small movement, but I like to do this maybe like two times. And you're just slightly squeezing. Slightly squeezing up on all four corners. And then um, often that'll like throw things off and make everything a little wonky. So you can go in and to fix it all. This one isn't too bad, but yeah, to, if you wanted to fix good. it all. <laughs> that yeah, looks really good. You can, um, just do like a fake pull. So I'm gonna move all the way up, but the intention is not to actually pull any clay up, it's just to align everything again. So like very little pressure? Yeah, okay. very little pressure. A little T-Rex arm. <laughs> <laughs> all right. It's closer to a cylinder, but why not aim for perfection? And sometimes it helps if you make something a little too narrow and then open it back up again. I feel like that's more of a cylinder shape. But it's still a little bit cylindrical. <laughs> um, I got this up. I'm gonna do that next time. No, we're getting so far. Holy good lord, it's not that bad. Okay, so we've got our cylinder. If you're doing a shape like that, I don't know, it's not that important that you get to be a perfect cylinder, but I just wanted to show you how to get a perfect cylinder. Um, so now we are gonna move in. This is gonna be kind of an ugly shape, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's for the knowledge. So we're gonna start at the bottom. I'm just doing the opposite of what I did before. Pushing in. are you pushing? Uh, I don't know how to describe that. <laughs> um, not too hard. It's pretty subtle, I guess. So, I'm not going to start at the bottom. I'm going to just keep working my way in towards the center. So you're going for more like a flared kind of. Yeah, I'm going for a concave shape this time. What you can also do is collar it. Get all the water out from the bottom. 
you did a little spout on it, it could be a sake server. For sure. So I'll show you. That's a lot of sake. I'll show you how to do that. <laughs> or a pitcher if you put a big handle on yeah, it. Yeah, that'd be pretty as a little pitcher. seeing what you're doing with the, the I'm not I'm always going straight from in front of me to get rid of it and it's just oh, sticking yeah. and you're coming in from the side yeah so um hold it almost like a pencil I guess that's how you hold a pencil and then point towards yourself yeah I'm not pointing towards myself oh, and that's man. the big difference I just do it side oh yeah usually. it doesn't okay. really work if you go in that way it has to be like yeah yeah okay yeah. um so if you want to make a spout a way to do that is um, put two fingers here. Those are going to be a brace. This is finger is going to pull, and it has to be wet. So have water around, which obviously you would. So just pull back a few times. How cool! And that's a spout. You know, nice. this is like a fun thing. You could a keep going. On it. Mm -hmm. yeah, so cute. You could. Make a fun, oh, yeah. a fun vase. Right. <laughs> a fun vase. You and the vases, Michelle. <laughs> That's cute. I like that. We can keep going. Um, do I want to do that? No, I kind of yeah. like it with the four. So now I'm doing the same thing, but the opposite. The opposite. Okay, that looks cool so, too. Actually. It's like what your cup looks like this. Yeah, and <laughs> except it looked nothing like that, and I didn't do it that way. Mine and went, mine went lopsided. Sure. So I was like, oh look, this looks like that. Just say, be like, that's exactly yes. what I went. Exactly what I did. That's what it looks like. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm giving it practicing my spout. I'm giving it credit. It was a happy accident. It works. This is a really fun design when you have like a big bowl. The more um, surface like area that, you yeah. have the more like the fluted edges look like almost like flower petals, but this isn't very big, so it's all right. Did you ever see Lee Wolf's pottery? Mm -mm. She does she does beautiful bowls like yeah. that. And she does like, exactly what you just did. Like, so all around the bowl is like fluted and she, she just does really cool glaze combinations. Huh. I am in love with her stuff. Nice. Her stuff is gorgeous. Does she fire in a reduction kiln? Do you know? I don't know. I don't know where that well. I just follow her. I oh. stalk her. <laughs> Not friends with her. I just stalk her. <laughs> All right. Um, are there any other particular shapes that you want to see? Anything? I don't know. Whatever. No? Okay. I don't know any.